is Richard of Doomed Movie Thon, Cinema Somnambulist, and hello, this is The Doom Show. I'm here for an unseemly. What is an unseemly? An unseemly is a vlog series where I, Richard Schmitty, haha, <laughs> pick a movie that I've never seen before off my horror movie shelves, and I read the back of this unknown film to you, the viewer? Is that cool? Pizza! <laughs> then I go and I watch it. Now, I want to get rid of movies so I can buy more movies, but in order to do that, I have to watch all the movies I've never seen before. If I love the movie, it gets to stay. It goes right back on the shelf where it belongs or whatever. So come with me while I go pick a movie that's a film on a DVD or a blued. If only there was a secret place where movies existed where I could find a movie that I've never seen before. I think I found it. Here we go. I'm going in. I've never seen that. Man, that's precarious. Jeez. I don't want Aussie Orloff. Oh, what? $12.99? What a rip. A Bone in the Dark. Oh, Scott Paragraph. Edward Carnby, Christian Slater, is a private investigator specializing in unexplainable supernatural phenomenon. Uh, his case delves into the dark corners of the world, comma, searching for truth in the occult remnants of the ancient... Uh, now the greatest mystery of his past is about to become the most dangerous case he has ever faced with the help of his ex-girlfriend, archaeologist Aline Sedrak, Tara Reid, and his bitter rival, government agent Richard Burke. Stephen Dorff, wait, Christian Slater versus Stephen Dorff, this is a masterpiece. Edward is about to learn that just because, no wait, Edward is about to learn that just because you don't believe in something doesn't mean it cannot kill you. Ooh. Uh, oh, no. Ooh, eh! We need to trust each other, Richard. I mean, I need to know who side you are. Or I can just remove you from the unit, and you and Carnby can hang out anytime you want. You can grab pizza, go to movies. What is it you need from me? Alone in the dark. Uh, it's not just for children anymore. It's, it's not a video game any longer. It's a movie time. It says $12.99 on the box. I promise you I did not pay $12.99 for this. Uh, in fact, I think my mom sent me this one in a package with a bunch of other unseen by me movies. Director Uwe Boll. He's back. Uwe Boll? Uwe, Uwe, Uwe? He's back. Uh, I haven't watched one of his movies since House of the Dead. Um, House of the Dead amazing compared to this. This is boring as shit and I am definitely not keeping it so. We have opening narration that explains the end of the movie right out of the like right at the beginning. I don't know why they chose to do that at the beginning. Uh, there, so there's no mystery when they finally got to the end. We knew exactly what we were looking at instead of explaining it. Uh, uh, what this movie does really well is explains stuff that doesn't need explaining and then doesn't explain stuff that they should have explained. We have a lot of actor-ish people speaking very 
dialogue-like words strung together. It was very nice. They show the monsters almost immediately, and they're stupid looking. The monsters are... Uh, I think the technical term is dumb as balls. That's what they look like. They're dumb as balls. The movie starts with a big action sequence, like an action movie, and it was pretty funny. They had the bullet time and the, the kicking. Uh, Christian Slater does a roundhouse kick that really impressed me because they made it look like he did it. I think they used a camera trick called roundhouse kick move. Speaking of Christian Slater, his bedroom looks like the set of Red Shoe Diaries. So when he had his big love scene with Tara Reid, it was really sensual. Like, I really connected with their characters and I felt the, the heat of their lovemaking. My favorite character doesn't live long enough in the damn movie. Rob, the security guard? Amazing. He actually was having fun in this movie. They killed him so soon. I missed you, Rob. Why didn't you come back as a ghost, Rob? We had video game action. We had new metal. Uh, I wrote down some of the bands from the new metal. Uh, we had uh, death. Stars, oh, excuse me, this is one word, Death Stars, Nightwish, Angel Zoom, uh, the Supernatural Boogies, and the new metal stylings of Nene Cherry. Sneaky. Very sneaky. <laughs> Oh my god, it just keeps getting better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the new metal really makes it. The new metal really brings it all together. There is some nice gore, but you won't care. Um, the money they spent on the gore, they should have used for their computer effects because the computer effects were all Windows 97 looking though the technology people were using was actually like futuristic it was very complicated much like this story so my last two notes before I give these notes to my cat one my favorite line of the movie is some doors are meant to stay shut and to wrap it up, Uwe Boll, he really didn't bring it this time. There, there was a moments of his own brand of manic stupidity that I've come to expect in his movies. But there were too few and far between, so the movie ended up being really boring. I was kind of dozing off. I did stay awake, but it was very difficult. Thanks for watching. Uh, no. No, this is not going back on the shelves. Absolutely not. Ugh. House of the Dead remains, so far, the only Uwe Boll movie that I'm keeping. I should stop watching these. Alone in the dark, leave the dark, you're stuck. Alone in the dark, leave the dark, you're stuck.